Hey guys, I just wanted to expand a little bit on the last video I made. I was talking about connecting accounts in the banking. And I had said that you should only connect accounts that are only related to your business. And then I had a message in the actual video itself and said that as long as it's mostly business, it is okay to connect it. Even if you have a few personal transactions mixed in there, you can just mark those as draws. So I just wanted to demonstrate that so you could see what that actually would look like. So I connected a credit card to this sample company just for purposes of demonstrating what I meant by that. Now, first of all, obviously, you would just change any of the business expenses to the category that you want to record it in. So for all the Amazon, I would probably mark that as something like office supplies, depending on what I purchased there. But you can see that there's an Etsy expense and that is actually not a business expense. So I would want to put that in some type of draws or owner's equity account. Now this particular sample company already has an equity account called owner investment slash drawings. So I could use that. And then I also want to point out that there is this option right here to click on that says personal expense or withdrawal. If I click on that, it brings me right to that same account anyway. If you don't have an account that's called owner draws, owner drawings, owner investment draws, or something similar, you can add that in the chart of accounts, which is under accounting chart of accounts. And you would just want to make sure you add that in the equity section. But this account came with WAVE and it is fine to use that. And then any other And then any other personal expenses, I also have a Netflix expense here. I would also want to mark that as owner investment drawings. And then all the other expenses I would mark to a business expense category, just like any other business expense. So you can connect accounts that have a few personal transactions here and there. That's fine. You just want to make sure you mark them as owner draws so that they do not show up on your profit and loss. You don't want to get business expenses mixed with personal expenses when you're trying, when the goal of doing this bookkeeping is to get summaries of your business expenses in preparation for your tax return. It's not going to help you if you have personal expenses mixed in there, which is why I'm telling you that you can mark them as draws and it's not going to show up on that profit and loss. So if you have any questions, please feel free to comment below and I'll try to answer them. And I'll also put a link to my Wave Apps playlist so you can see other videos related to this software. And then I'll also post a link to my last video that I'm referring to. Thank you so much for watching.